Hi friends, it's Mo from the A Little Mo Crafty channel with you today, and we have a really cute card box project. If you're joining me from the Cut Cardstock channel, welcome. I am actually doing this project on behalf of Cut Cardstock today and using some of their fabulous papers. So I've already got it got started on the video letting you know what lengths to cut your paper. We are going to start with the Star Dream Metallic Vista Blue paper. You're going to cut the papers into two pieces, a seven inch by 11, and then also a seven and a half inch by six inch. And then what I'm using, what I like to use when I'm making card boxes is a scoreboard. And we're gonna add some nice crisp fold lines with our scoreboard. So the scoring is listed on the video as well. And I also wanted to kind of demonstrate how you can score at an angle on a scoreboard. So my particular scoreboard actually comes with a measuring tool that allows me to, to fold at the diagonal. But if you don't have this, you can actually use a piece of paper as well. So continue to make all the score lines on your two pieces of paper. You're going to assemble these two pieces of paper into a box. Now there's a couple cuts involved as well. So on the long piece, you're gonna cut off the triangular corners that you just scored and then set that aside. And on the shorter piece, you're going to cut the ends off to make tabs for your box to fold it up. So it, at the end, it actually looks a little bit like a cross. So I use a little bit of paper trimmer and a little bit of scissors depending on how detailed I need to get in here. I'm gonna just trim off these tabs and we're gonna to get to assembling this cute little box. This is gonna be an amazing gift that I give to someone down the road. Okay, so I am folding in on all the flaps and I love working with the Star Dream Metallic Vista because it is a really firm paper. It holds together really nicely and you'll be surprised at the end how well or how many things you can stick in this box and how big it really is. So I like to use a wet glue so that I can move it around a little bit before it dries. And I'm just gluing the tabs. I'm also gonna be using a clothespin to hold things together just for a few minutes. Don't leave those clothespins on too long or they'll make a little dent, but just enough to get the glue to settle. And then just when that is dry, go ahead and assemble the second half. And again, just making sure everything fits together in place. It's good to work with the wet glue so you can move things around. So after this is assembled, I let it dry, so let it sit aside, and I make some other cuts. And now we're gonna be working with some decoration. So my box is assembled and dry, and I am using a background plate in a gingham plaid and the basis white 80 pound paper. So this is gonna look really cute. It's gonna look a lot like Dorothy's dress. And I'm just gonna glue a panel up to the front for some visuals. Okay, now I am working with the red um, glitter paper. It's red flash silk glitter. I've cut it out into a heart with a die cut and I've attached it to the front. Okay, I really had fun with this one. I picked out several colors that represent the characters in the Wizard of Oz movie because that's the theme I'm following, obviously. And so listen to some of the names of these papers. We have Pop, Drone, Pop Tone Orange Fizz, Star Dream Metallic Fairway Green. We have Pearl Eye Strawberry Cream, Curious Metallic Silver, and Neutral Craft. And let me tell you, that makes me hungry just listening to some of those names. <laughs> so I've cut this as a six inch by four and a quarter. And I am adding tabs with a tab cutter. If you don't have one, you're just going to make an indent at the two inch mark on the top of your paper and then cut off the excess trim. And so that's what I'm doing with my cutter. Really fabulous. This is the We Are Memory Keepers all-in-one tool and that helps me do all sorts of projects. Okay, so now that I have my tabs cut, I'm actually going to take some more basis paper and print some labels. And so this goes through my printer really, really nicely. And I actually just added things like birthday and thank you, whatever somebody would use. It would also be really cool if you added a panel to write birthdays down on the front of your tabs as well. So we're just gonna adhere these little labels and we'll stick them in our box. And now what would be really fun to follow the theme all the way through is of course add some cards in the same theme. So I do happen to have some Wizard of Oz cards that I'm gonna be adding and hopefully give this away as a gift. So we'll stick those in there and it, you'll be surprised at how sturdy this box really is and how many cards it can actually hold. 
And so we'll just stick a couple of those in there. And you are done. You can wrap this up with a bow if you'd like and give it away or stick it on your desk. I hope you enjoyed this project. Please give us a follow. Thank you.